Welcome, I am Robert Berman and here we go getting ready for our upcoming auction which will be held Sunday, November 6, 2022 at 1 o'clock. You've heard it before but we're very excited about this auction. We were able to get three very large estates who really had very thought out, very high quality works. I'll uh, walk you through. So above me, I have the piece that we're using as the touchstone work for this auction. It's never been at auction before. It's been in about 14 or 15 museum shows. It's in three incredible books on Raymond Pettibone and it's been signaled out as one of his most significant surfer works. From 1987, and it's signed and dated on the back, and it was also featured in the new museum show of Raymond Pettibone, which was at the New Museum in New York. And it was the most talked about piece in the exhibition. We have some master print works in this auction and uh, one of my favorites is this work by Roy Lichtenstein from 1984. It has collage and lithograph and silkscreen and it's in really beautiful condition. It shows the direction of the future works. And above it, I have one of the great photographs by Esser Elger, which is from 2001. And we have quite an assortment of photography, of high-end, really important photography, including this works by Edward Weston, works by Ansel Adams, and we have a complete suite, the Baja suite, from Brett Weston in this exhibition in incredible beautiful condition. So we have quite a few important works, including Cindy Sherman and other great pieces. And another work by Roy Lichtenstein is an earlier work from 1970 called Modern Head, which is a woodcut on Japanese paper. Right next to it here, complementing it, is a work from 1993 by David Hockney. We also have Chris Burden, Sam Francis, and Donald Judd on this wall. One of the estates that we acquired for this auction had a lot of Latino art and we are really thrilled with the collection of art from Mexico and South America and especially art of California by the Chicano artists, one of the movements that I have been championing for over 40 years in Los Angeles. And on this whole wall here, you'll see works by Sergio Hernandez, Frank Romero, assortment of work by Carlos Amales. We have three great pastels and a study for a bank that he did back in 1988. We also have works by Gronk, quite a few early really nice prints and a, a fabulous painting that came out of Daniel Saxon Gallery. We have two really beautiful Tamayos and again we have the Echo Park by Amaraz, the most sought after print. But right here we have two photographs by Manuel Bravo, which are really early vintage 
silver gelatin prints signed. We also have a group of four works by his wife, Lola Almaraz Bravo, and a portrait that she took of Bravo as he was doing some close-up photography. Also on this wall we have a incredible photograph by Salgado from 2005, a silver gelatin print, and early works by Orozco and Cuevas, and we have a nice collection of works by Francisco Toledo, including a full album that he did. We have works by Manuel Ocampo and many of the other Latino artists. In the estate that had the great uh, Latino work, they had this Picasso plate from 1949 that is exceptional and we were really lucky that we were able to get two other plates by Picasso. This lovely piece here and also a large white early beautiful Picasso plate. So Mark Toby was as you know one of the great artists of America but he was living in Seattle. His dealer was Otto Seligman and out of Otto Seligman's estate we have two fabulous unique works. One is a very, very early tempera on paper from 1935, which is a bit unusual, but a beautiful piece. And then we have a, a really nice piece from 1968, more typical of the work of Mark Toby. From one of our estates, we were able to get an assortment of highly collectible works, including a drawing by Richard Prince from 1988 of three original jokes. Usually you see his jokes that are reprinted on large canvases and they all sell for hundreds if not millions of dollars. But we have in his own handwriting three jokes but it is signed and dated. We also have a Richard Pettibone. It's from a painting from 1954 by Picasso. The work was done in 1975 of Picasso in his studio. That's just lovely. Both sides are incredible. We have Sonia Delaunay, an original work from 1924, showing her figure. And then right below it here, we have what I think is one of the really important works by Mike Bidlow. And this was done and signed and dated. It's mixed media on a Duchamp page, but with his incredible image of the fountain. And in the middle of this case, we have a Die transfer prints, which are very rare now, but this was done in 1996 by William Eggleston in a very small edition of only six. It's one of my favorite pieces in the auction here. So Robert Heineken was the beginning of conceptual art in Los Angeles back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and he died in 2006. But in his heyday of making art and being a trickster that he was, he was also a professor of art at UCLA and many of the top photographers in California studied underneath him. This actually came from one of his alumni who was a friend of his and a, a great photographer himself. And he traded for this. And this is a very incredible magazine 
with a lot of really important imagery which Heineken manipulated and he would take these and place them in newsstands. It was a work of conceptual art, of performance art. We also have a, a print by Heineken and we have some other works by some really amazing artists like contemporary artist Alex Prager. We have a few works by Ed Roche. We have Profile of Miss Clark from 1981. We have U.S. or Us by Roche back in 96, I believe. And we have The End, which is one of his touchstone, really amazing prints, as well as The Ballerina. So four great Roches. We also have right here a complete suite, The Adventures of a Novel in Four Chapters by Bruce Connor. And this has 15 uh, unique monoprints within the portfolio, and it's in beautiful condition. And we have the Francis Toledo. We also have right here one of my favorite works by Robert Motherwell. This has collage and embossment and lithography relief. It's really an uh, important print from 1984, as well as from the same year, On the Wing by Robert Motherwell. We have some interesting works by Leonora Carrington from 1960. We have Paul Warner's work, which is a, a beautiful painting. We have some really interesting sculptures this is by Michael Todd, and right here we have a Tony Delap sculpture. We have three works, original unique works by John L. Toon. This one here above was shown in a lot of museum shows, including the Santa Monica Museum in the Seminar Culture Show. This one is from 1967, signed and dated. And this one is a monumental work on paper from the Harper series from 1966. And in Provenance is David Stewart Gallery. He was the gallery that represented Altoon back in the 60s. John Altoon died in 69. Next to it, we have a lithograph that was made at Gemini Gel in 1965. That was one of the first years Gemini opened and the LA County Museum actually opened. It's the largest print that I know of made by Alberto Giacometti. He died a year later in 1966, but this really shows a very typical, strong, beautiful, seated nude which is very typical and very reminiscent of all of the works that Giacometti did. Well, this auction is an embarrassment of riches. So many uh, monumental pieces by Frank Stella. And the one that really is amazing is the Singiori variants from 1977. We have all six of the variants. These are very sought after and very monumental. Right here we have two works by Emerson Wolfer who died in 2003. This one is a unique work on paper from 1972 and this is a work that is on canvas. So we try never to have the same work in past auctions, but something very bizarre happened. We put up this incredible work by Os Geminos 
from 2007, and it sold online for just under 200,000 all in. The person who had bought it was a known big collector, but he had died. So uh, his estate did not want to go through with the sale. So this monumental work is going to be brought up in this auction again, and we've had the reserve lowered greatly, and it's an opportunity for someone to now get one of the most brilliant works by the twins from South America, Sao Paulo. We invite you to please go to our website, smauctions.com. We have everything alphabetical and we have everything chronologically numbered and we hope to see you live on Sunday, November 6th. We'll have a huge tent outside in front of the gallery, food trucks, a bar. It'll be outdoors. Won't have to worry about COVID, we hope. And we invite you to come. We also invite you to come by any time now before the auction. So come and enjoy and hopefully get some art. Thank you.